Hi. Today we are going to talk about ocean zones. Let's bring out our guest, George Ham. Hey, it's a pleasure to be here. You are an ocean zone expert. Is that right? Yes. Now let's talk about ocean zones. So, what is ocean zones? Ocean zones are the parts where the ocean is divided at based on its community. It consists of the intertidal zone, the neuritic zone, and the open ocean zone. Did you know that people have been studying the ocean since ancient times? Nonsense. It's true. Okay. I have a few questions for you. I hope you can give me the answers. So, what did scientists use to map out the ocean floor? Well, in 1925 scientists aboard the Meteor used sound navigation ranging, also known as sonar to map the ocean floor. They used a device called an echo sounder to produce pulses of sound. Wow. Very interesting. I never knew that. Do you know any features of the ocean floor? If so, describe them. Okay. There is continental shelf which is a gradually sloping area that borders each continent with a width measuring from just a few kilometers to as much as 1,300 kilometers. Continental slope that is the steep edge of the continental shelf. Abyssal plain is a smooth, nearly flat region of the ocean floor that is formed by the sunken remains of dead organisms from the surface. Last is the mid-ocean ridge that is a continuous range of mountains which winds around Earth and is nearly 80,000 kilometers long. It is the longest mountain range on Earth. You can also find volcanic islands, sea amounts, and trenches. So, is life in the ocean all the same? No. Most of the life occurs in two zones, the intertidal zone, and the neuritic zone. Then how do scientists classify marine organisms? Scientists classify marine organisms into three groups. Plankton, which are tiny algae and animals that float in the water and are carried by waves and currents. Nicton, which are free-swimming animals that can move throughout the water column. And benthos, which are organisms that inhabit the ocean floor. So, moving on. What is the rocky shores? Rocky shores are found in the intertidal zone. Organisms that live in this zone must be able to tolerate the pounding of the waves and changes in salinity and temperature. Wow. Life in the intertidal zone is really fascinating. Okay. Next question. What is an estuary? An estuary is a coastal inlet or bay where fresh water from rivers mix with salty ocean water. Nice. Now I need to ask you about mangrove forests. What are they? Oh, I know this one. Mangrove forests are short. Gnarled trees that grow in brackish water. Cool. Now what is a salt marsh? Salt marsh oozes with smelly mud. The mud is made up of sediments, plant and animal matter. It is also made up of nutrients carried into the marsh by fresh water and tides. Awesome. Now to the neuritic zone and open ocean. What is the neuritic zone? The neuritic zone has a huge variety of organisms. More are found here than in any other ocean zone. Many living things are found here because the shallow water over the continental shelf receives sunlight and a steady supply of nutrients wash from the land into the ocean. This light and nutrients enable large plant-like algae to grow. The algae helps serve as food and shelter for organisms. What type of habitats live in this zone? Please describe them. Coral reefs and kelp forests are the two habitats in this zone. Coral reefs are made up of living things not rocks. They are created by colonies of tiny coral animals. Each of the coral animals produces a hard structure that surrounds its soft body. After it dies, the empty structure remains. New coral animals attach to it and grow on top. Over many years, the coral reef is made. Microscopic algae live in the bodies of coral animals and give food to the corals. This algae needs warm temperatures and sunlight. That is why coral reefs can only form in shallow. Tropical ocean waters. Kelp forests grow in cold neuritic waters where the ocean has a rocky floor. Kelp are large, heavy algae. Sunlight filters through the water and produces a greenish light. The kelp use sunlight and dissolved gases to produce their own food. Amazing. I am learning a lot of things. Let's continue. How many zones is the open ocean divided into? The open ocean is divided into three zones. The Surface zone which is the only part that receives enough sunlight to support the growth of algae. 
the transition zone which has darker and colder waters and finally the deep zone which has even darker and colder waters great explanation now i don't know what bioluminescence vents is can you please explain it sure bioluminescence is when many deep sea fish produce their own light some tiny light producing structures are scattered over the surfaces of some fish other Fishes have light producing organs. Thanks. That helps a lot. Okay, do you know what a hydrothermal vent is? Yes. A hydrothermal vent is when hot water rises out of cracks in the ocean floor. The rising water has been heated by hot rock magma beneath the ocean floor. Thank you. That is all the time we have for today. Thanks for joining us, George Ham. Thank you for having me here.